the profit experts. Why diaspora of Africans descents are the poorest diasporas in the world. Part 3. You get to work before you look you are sucked into it again, the American rat race. Ten years has passed since you left Europe, in addition to the ten years you spent roaming around mid Africa and Europe. You begin to notice grey hair and the face that stares at you in the mirror in the morning a little mature and older. All the hopes and aspirations have faded from your eyes, all you see in your eyes is acceptance of the inevitability that this is your life now. Some get married and have kids with another of the disappointed diaspora, some attend school and obtain a degree of some sort to give themselves a feeling of accomplishment, others return to Africa and face the shame or work for the government while others like Abu decide to end their agony but the large majority just live in quiet desperation not daring to hope or look forward to the future. No one has told those desperate Africans walking the streets of London, New York, Toronto, Amsterdam or Paris every morning, that this is a new century, this is the indispensable century. In this century success or failure does not depend on which country you live in, who you know or your place of birth but your ability to think and produce results. Granted, I would rather be the son of Bill Gates than be the son of the city mayor of Darfur. But thousands of people have defied the odds, originating from places worse than Darfur, have applied themselves and succeeded. If you do not believe me, visit a job centre plus in the UK on a Monday morning, you will see British born young people with blue eyes and blonde hair filing on the unemployment line stretching their hands out for government Mugadol. While if you went to the city of London at that same time, you will notice people as black as the word itself crushing their Bentley and Vito Ferrari down the roads headed for their posh offices. A friend of mine, Mike is a damn good writer. He edits many of my works. I write a lot and pay many people to edit for me. Amongst all the people who have edited for me, I have not met a single one who edit as good as Mike. But Mike is struggling. We had coffee together the other day and he confided in me, Romeo with my level of intelligence if I was a white guy I would have been wealthy. No Mike. Your problem is not your color, but your unwillingness to do anything worthwhile, I said. I have known Mike for five or six years. Out of those years, for about one year he had a restaurant in the city center that went belly up. Since that time according to him he has been chilling out recovering from his loss. It seems perplexing to me that someone needs five years to recover from the demise of a business venture. Mike you write very well, JK Rawlings made millions from writing why can't you put your skills and talent to use. There was no response from him because he knew I was right. I asked Mike a question which I would urge every African diaspora to ask themselves, which one of your friends is the best at what he does and is still struggling? Do you know anyone whom you will say he or she is the best in their field and they are still struggling to make a living? Herein lies the heart of our problems as a people. Most of us are not good at anything and we are not making any type of contribution to our host countries. Do you think for one second that Bill Gates is the richest guy in the world because he is white? Analyze this for a moment if a black person had come up with Google, Facebook, YouTube or any of the internet tools that are revolutionizing the way we live today, would anyone refuse to use it because it was invented by a black man? There is no doubt that when affirmative actions were introduced the world needed it to rectify the imbalance that was created by long years of institutional racism. With Barack Obama becoming president of the most powerful country in the world, that shattered any excuse we as a people will have. 
What that shows is that anybody black or white, success or failure depends on your ability to apply yourself and produce results. It is a system and it works for everyone black or white, but your ability to utilize the system to your advantage would determine your level of success. To be continued next week. To be continued next week. Thank you for watching. Join us at http colon slash slash www.theprofitexperts.co.uk